Hi, this video is about convergent and discriminant validity using correlation matrix approach. As you know, convergent validity basically it it tests whether the items converges to measure a construct. Now, and discriminant validity tells that the construct is truly distinct from another construct. Now we'll take an example here. I have an example where we have two construct attitude towards co-worker and environmental perception. There is a prior literature that there is a good amount of correlation between these two construct there is attitude towards correlation and environmental perception now let's see how we can uh, find out the convergent and discriminant validity using a correlation matrix approach you go to analyze dimension reduction go to factor and plug in the items of the first construct that is attitude towards co-worker I have four items and for environmental perception also I have four items here then I'll check coefficients of a correlation matrix and the significance level uh, also KMO just to check the factorability directly we will go to the correlation matrix now if you look at the correlation matrix here this is the inter item correlation of a construct that is attitude towards co-worker and this is the correlation of the second construct that is environmental perception now we will find out the minimum correlation in the uh, among the items of a particular construct now this item ac1 to ac4 there are four items and the minimum correlation is 0 0.670 that is between ac1 and ac4 that is a minimum correlation and, min and so this suggests that this correlation is significant is greater than zero and let's check the significance level of this is 0 0.002 that's good so uh, the first construct it shows that all the uh, all the correlations between the items are greater than zero and in this case is greater than 0.5 and also significant same is the case of the second construct that is between ep1 and ep4 the minimum correlation is 0.504 and also this also is significant at 0 0.000 levels so that suggests that the convergent validity between these two constructs is valid a further stringent stress to, uh, test would be to check convergent validity would be you you need to factor and analyze analyze and then we need to measure that whether these loads distinctly in two factors you'll see the uh, rotated component matrix and we show we see that like this AC1 loads distinctly in the first factor and AEP the, the environmental perception loads distinctly on the second factor this suggests and the average factor loading is greater than 0.7 suggests that the uh, convergent validity is succeeded now let's go to find the discriminant validity and this is what I have said the environmental 0.70 the correlations are significantly different than zero hence conversion validity 
Now we'll come to discriminant validity as we said is extent to which these constructs are truly distinct. Now these two constructs environmental perception and attitude towards co-worker are truly distinct or not is tested by discriminant validity. Now discriminant validity is tested using correlation matrix approach using uh, this concept. We need to do a comparison of the minimum value of correlation with each of the other construct and then that is evaluated uh, with number of violation. A violation happens when the correlation is lesser. Now let's see this example in this case. We'll go to the correlation matrix. Now in we, we need to find the minimum value in the correlation of the first construct. In this case it is 0 0.670 and that is compared with each of the uh, uh, items of another construct. Now take for instance 0 0.670 is compared with EP1, it's compared with EP2, EP3 and EP4. If it is greater than this violation happens. In this case all these correlations between this 0 0.670 is the minimum value of the construct with all other con all uh, all other um, correlations are not there so there is no violations now you take for instance with this also there is no violation with this also there is no violation and there is this also no violation similarly now we can take for the another construct that is ep environmental perception the minimum value is 0 0.504 this is compared with all the other co uh, uh, the correlations between the other construct and that shows that there is no violation so here the total number of comparisons possible are 4 into 4 plus 4 into 4 that is around 32 different comparisons however there are no violations so total number of violation is 0 and total number of comparison is 32 now campbell and fisk suggest that if there is a violation then this violation should be less than one half of the total number of comparisons in this case there are no violations and hence out of 32 comparisons hence we can say the discriminant validity is supported thank you